This video is brought to you by TubeBuddy, a browser extension to help you optimize and grow your channel by providing you with all the right and most effective research tools needed. If you sign up now, you'll get a 30-day free trial of any paid plan of your choosing. All you have to do is sign up through this link. Now, on to the video. Our family used to be bigger than all them Mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. The McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. Packy McCreary is a personal favorite of mine. He's the last born son and heir to the McCreary crime family, and is possibly the proudest and most passionate about his roots. Why? Well, what else is there to say? Packy's just the kind of guy to look sensibility right in the face and spit in it. He proudly wears the title Sinner as a badge of honor. You ready to do something profoundly stupid? You want stupid? You call the right guy! Being a very competent crew member, you know, when he's not getting higher drunk. Now listen, people! We're your friends! Me and me brother here... Why are we... you telling him we're brothers, you idiot? That's gonna make it hard for him to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people! Fuck your cause! That shit's over! Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too! Now you've said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do! I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half a Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night! Motherfucker! <laughs> fuck! Uh, we told you not to uh, fuck with us! Uh, Shit! Michael! Say fucking Mike! He gets better. So today we'll explore a day in the criminal life of the McCreary family's living legacy, Patrick McCreary. Packy was born in Dukes 1979, being the older brother of Kate and the little brother of Gerald, Francis, and Derek. Although he always had a loving relationship with his mother, his father, on the other hand, was an abusive and pedophilic alcoholic to both he and Gerald growing up. At age 14, instead of being at school, he would spend most of his time at home just to roll up joints for his father. This was also around the time his own drug habits picked up. Because of this, Packy not only grew up to realize he actually despised his father, but also blamed him for the decline of the crime family's influence. Instead, he idolized Gerald, who took over the Mafia sometime after their father's supposed suicide. His life of crime began during his middle school years when he would use the spot for Gerald's scores. His other crimes include Grand Theft Auto in 1997, Grand Larceny 1998, Hijacking 2000, and Possession of Cocaine 2005. By the time of the game's storyline, Packy has become independent of the Irish mob working as a hired gun for the Pegarino family, and pulling many robberies with his two friends, Michael Keane and Gordon Sargent. He first meets Nico Bellic through cocaine dealer Elisabetta Torres, who hires him to look after Packy during a botched cocaine deal. Impressed by Nico, Packy introduces him to the family and starts inviting him to partake in their robberies, including the disorganized Bank of Liberty heist, resulting in Michael Keane's death. Packy also aids Nico in the kidnapping of Ancelotti mob princess Gracie, by orders of Gerald who gets incarcerated during that time. The more time Nico spends with Packy, the bigger their friendship grows, which gets even stronger when Nico assists Packy in the burial of one of his older brothers, depending on the player's choice, when the funeral gets ambushed by the Albanian mob though Packy remains ignorant to Nico's involvement in his brother's death. 
And then there's Kate. As much as Packy teases her, he is notorious for being dangerously overprotective of his little sister. You should see him around me. If a man even looks in my direction, he threatens to rip his heart out. When he catches on to Nico's interest in her, he makes it clear up front that she's off limits. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though, she don't put out. Which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. Oh, hey, Nico. <laughs> hey, Kate. Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. But this attitude eventually changes when he encourages Nico to spend time out with Kate, just as friends. This decision, however, ends up inadvertently getting her killed, ironically by the same man Packy worked for. This is only if the revenge ending is chosen. After story completion, a grief-stricken Packy laments to Nico in a phone call that Kate shouldn't have had to pay the price for her brother's sins, and stays to support his mom as he's her only support network left. But this gets contradicted by Packy leaving for a new life in Los Santos in the end. So what happened between him and his mom that led up to this choice remains a mystery. And it's still up in the air if revenge really is canon to the story or not. Five years later, Packy has been reduced to a petty thief, pulling small scores with some random NPC. Regardless of which main character you play as, you can unlock Packy as a crew member when you help him and his accomplice escape the cops after they rob a drugstore in Strawberry. For every heist you include him in, he'll play the role of a hired gun. And if specifically chosen for the Polito Bay heist, he'll recount his part in the Bank of Liberty heist to the crew on their way to the bank. Even briefly mentioning Nico Bellic, whom he's no longer friends with apparently. I ran the crew! It was me, my brother Derek, God rest his soul, my pal Michael, God rest his soul, and another boy, Nico, who's probably dead too. In 2019, during the time of the Diamond Casino Heist DLC, Packy can be chosen as an optional member for the heist. And the player can once again unlock him by hijacking the police transport he's in the back of along with another NPC. After setting him free, his primary role in your crew will be to provide weapons in the prep mission, Unmarked Weapons. 